it's the How's This Good For Anybody podcast, starring Rich DiPalentino, Steve Yardumian, and Tommy Leahy. Your eardrums, not mine. That's better. Oh, there we go. That was oh, better. Hey, there, there, it is. Is. there he is. All right. I feel like I'm on radio right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about the annual chili cook-off coming around. Chili dog con carne. <laughs> Over 35 <laughs> various chilies. $8 for people 18 and over. Kids are always free. Gosh. Here's Easy Top. I love chili dogs. Any better shop just me. Designed by our... Tampon staff, ta- tap room staff. Tampon staff. Huh? As an intricate experiment to combine the explosive power of sour beer with the dangerous Do flavors a, of fresh fruit, duck, and cover. Do you need some glasses? Key lime goose. Some spectacles. Oh. No, it's sp- actually pronounced Goza. My s- like Goza the Traveler. <laughs> goose. He will come in one of the pre-chosen <laughs> forms. During the rectification of Aldrani, the Traveler came as a large and moving tour. Then, during the third reconciliation of the last McKetrick supplicants, they chose a new form for him. That of a giant slur. Many shrubs and souls would it was be roasted in the depths of the slur that day, I can tell you. Yes, have some. <laughs> Something's here, happening. Here. That was from Ghostbusters. Are you serious? Yes, it was the true. whole speech the that Rick Moran yeah. into the first one. Yes, the whole speech true. Rick Moranis gave when he was like oh my possessed. That man has a dick. <laughs> man, Doth man. Tyrannus on the moons of Vanderbilt. You guys excited for Ghost? <laughs> you guys excited for Ghostbusters? I look um... for a man named Tyrannus. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there was going to be another one. Yeah, it's coming out soon. Oh. It got delayed. Yeah, because the vids. Delayed. Yeah, Toad's vids. Um, huh. Yeah, Paul Rudd's in it. And it was actually I saw a clip from it. It was actually very funny. Yeah. Good, but I'm also kind of tired of the is, whole reboot. Is Paul thing. Rudd going to be a Ghostbuster? I, it didn't look like it, but it's possible he may become one. I don't know. Is he related to Paul Spud, the potato kind of alter ego of Paul Rudd? <laughs> I think so. I, I believe remember. he's related to former NASCAR driver Ricky Rudd. Ricky Rudd, that's it. Ricky yeah, Rudd. I heard that on ET. I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ET yeah. Entertainment Tonight. Phone. Oh, okay. I was going to say <laughs> not the 1980s. No, no, no. Uh, extraterrestrial <laughs> movie. <laughs> I heard there's a Mandela effect with that movie, like like the the what he think what we think he says he does not actually say. Like when he says like E. T. Phone home or he something. He doesn't say that. What does what he does actually he say? I think he just says phone home. Yeah, I think it's just phone home. Yeah, like everybody thinks he said something else, and huh. yeah, Mandela effect is very interesting. Yeah, start. we didn't put that on our list, but I'm ready to talk about the Mandela, the Mandela effect? effect. Let's do it. I'm gonna put it right now. Yeah. No, we don't have to do it because we're just talking about it. Wait, <laughs> the, 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 why is it called the Mandela effect? Because there was this thing where people thought. That Nelson Mandela died a long time ago, mm-hmm. and he was still alive at that time. So it's, everybody had this memory that he had died a long time ago, and he was still alive. He actually died like a few wasn't years that, ago. I was yeah. gonna say, wasn't that in the nineties? Yeah, when people thing? thought that he yeah, died. He yeah, di- he was in jail yeah, for thought. a long time. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. and also it was another one where people thought Muhammad Ali died a long time ago too, and he just died a few years ago. Same thing. So there's like a lot of things like that and like it'll be with movie lines where people think like famous movie lines are this and they're actually huh. not that well, we like remember Luke that I am your father correct yeah, yeah. exactly yeah exactly. where he actually doesn't say he says Veronica I am that's your what father that's what it is yeah yeah and Veronica. everybody thinks it's Luke <laughs> yeah because like idiots. the camera pans over and Veronica's hanging on the other yeah. side <laughs> no <laughs> it was a deleted, no. deleted scene yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. so glad that we're smart on this podcast we, you know, we really are we're really <laughs> Are up we? there it exudes intelligence <laughs> yeah i feel like we, like we our, try to google as much as possible yeah <laughs> we know stuff yeah like our iq i feel like collectively is what's the highest iq you can have 1200 no i feel that's like that's an, an sat S- yeah, yeah i was gonna say it's an sat, yeah, it's score. An SAT score it depends on if there's a writing section <laughs> yeah. so i feel like I, high iq is like in the 200s or something it's like yeah. 240 is like the maximum iq you can have i, I know i have it i just forget what it is I thought it was 140. yeah <laughs> He knows he has it. He just forgets what it is, yeah. folks. Yeah, yeah, right. You heard yeah. it here. I, I just forget what my IQ is, but I know it's really hot. Again. <laughs> you know, his, his IQ, the number varies depending on how he's feeling that day. Yeah. Yeah. Did you take it on BuzzFeed? <laughs> 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 you sure? <laughs> yeah, what else is what else Mandela, Mandela effect? effect? What other things? Fruit like, Loops. What a, the box of Fruit Loops? What about them? How, how do you spell fruit on Fruit Loops? How do you spell fruit? Oh, it's F R O O T. Yeah. Bam. 
but I actually thought it was regular fruit, but right. because we're talking about Mendel effect, I knew you what you knew were going to do. Was so I switched. Question. It. Correct. So yeah. I, because I'm smart, IQ of 370, and that's yeah. how I knew that. I bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yes. yeah. Uh-huh. Albert Einstein ain't got crap on Einstein. Man. Paul yeah. McCartney dead. I don't think that's the Mendel effect, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> was it John Lennon dead? That was. Uh, no, that's for real too. That was oh, yeah, for real. Yeah. Really done. Mm. yeah. No, John. Paul McCartney's alive. He. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he died like what four years ago. All the jazz greats are gone. Yeah, the uh, jazz yeah. greats. I know it's a shame, man. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Gosh, Paul Rudy McCartney, Giuliani, him Paul and, McCartney, uh, him and Louis Armstrong Louis used to Armstrong. hang out all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, man, Louis Armstrong, Rudy Giuliani, and Paul McCartney. What a great band that was. Oh, <laughs> that's a podcast I would listen to. Uh, <laughs> Rudy Giuliani sat there singing with his hair dye oh, pouring down his boy. face. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> I'll have what he's having. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves like halfway through there to have try to have sex with his cousin. <laughs> oh jeez! Yo, also Mandela effect too. Um, but like I remembered Star Wars Episode Two being a good movie. Ah, it's not you that do? bad. I mean, sand is everywhere, Rich. It's <laughs> it's rough and coarse. It's in the walls. <laughs> it's everywhere. I got sand in my brain, pan, you know <laughs> I blame it on the fact that George just did the first take and that was it. Like, he just he just like, took yeah, whatever. Every, <laughs> they were so rushed for production. I, I picture George sitting there. Were they like, really? Is no, that true? No, it's not. I picture no, George was, going that's like. That's also Mandel effect. <laughs> he was too busy, like, thinking yeah, about all the, okay. like, what he was going to buy with the multi million dollars. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah. George, George, are we good on this? Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the chorus line. Yeah, that's totally fine. It's a little fine. redundant, but I think the audience is going to get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's totally fine. <laughs> It's actually really good. <laughs> okay. That's a good George. Okay, Hayden, in this scene, I need you to be very lovelorn. I'm haunted by the kiss you should have never given me. Oscar material. That's See, that's, and you're talking right, about that movie's not yacht. that bad. Yeah, right? <laughs> what a shame. What a shame, that movie. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you look at Rogue One and you're like, man, this is what the prequels could have been like. I know. You know? I think that that is the... Definitely the best new good Star Wars movie. Oh, yeah. Possibly the so. only conventionally, like, if we're just judging it, movies by, like, the quality of the movie, disconnected from the saga or the yeah, story. just as a movie. It might be the only good Star Wars movie. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I love that this is a recurring segment at the beginning of our podcast. What, Star Wars? Is just the Star Wars prequels. Mm-hmm. Well, it comes full circle, right? Because it's, it it's, What it, else is it, life about, though? It goes back yeah. to our intelligence. <laughs> yeah. You know? We're, we are smart. smart. People talk about stuff like this. We do. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we pull Star Wars apart and we, we break it down. We discuss the details. Just about like when what... you're lifting weights, you're kind of pulling your muscles apart. Exactly. And then, then you take steroids and put them back together. I Absolutely. think you go to the hospital if you pull your muscles apart. <laughs> Actually, whenever you work out, you are tearing your muscles in little spots. And then the heels and it gets bigger. So it's kind of like this. I remember my gym teacher in like ninth grade explaining like, if you work out, you're like, oh. Oh yeah, pumping, 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 and then you rest, and it's like, and then it heals oh. over. <laughs> Gross! It heals Sick. over the the new fibers that were built as a result of the tears, and that's how it grows. You know, that's it how chicken okay was invented. If you had just been like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to explain to you though. See, everybody, see that was the look. That right was there. the look. That, that was, was the Steve look. Yep. Yeah. When he, when he, Joe, you I haven't experienced this yet. Purpose. He gives you a look when he doesn't like something you're doing, but he'll do, like last week I gave a suggestion of something to do, and he goes like this. He just goes like, e- "No, I like actually, that. It's terrible." I actually thought that was his normal look because he's been staring at me like that the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a bad start already yeah. between this couch. Oh, man, <laughs> so guys, it's really tense. It's it's a man. tense situation on the yeah. couch. Yeah, you can cut it with yeah. a knife. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. it's, it's it feel a little awkward. <laughs> So guys, yeah, we are joined today by uh, by Joseph uh, Vincenzo um, Alamalamalamia. You are Vincenzo. Almost, you are almost there. No, I know your you middle name. Your name. Your middle name is uh, Ventriloquist Alamia. Yes, it is. It yes. is Ventriloquist. Absolutely, <laughs> Joseph. So Joe, wow, tell us about yourself. Um, Wrong. So start over. <laughs> Sorry, damn it. <laughs> I think we really need to talk not so much about me, but about you. And how I I <laughs> yeah, never I agree. agree. No, hold on. Agree. Hold Thank on. you. St- stick I, with yeah. me. Stick with me. I have never. Finally, you guys are coming to your senses. I'm about to drop a bomb here. Mm. I don't know if you two know this, gentlemen, but he's cheating on you with another podcast. 
I've heard rumor of such thing. Do I don't you guys, know how to feel. Do you guys think that I would do that to you? So not actually, not yeah. only a little bit. You're just you're, a little. You're, you have connections to the Italian mob. That's absolutely what I think. That's racist. Oh. <laughs> yeah, excuse as me. a Sicilian, I find that racist. Yeah. No, what, no, no. Do you have the Armenian mafia, <laughs> Steve? I'm, I'm pretty sure we've talked about this off camera before. That I have I'm a mafia ties. Yeah, I do have mafia ties. <laughs> I actually do. No, legitimately. I legitimately have off your thought. My, uncle, my yeah. uncle's in waste He's management. Proud of it. <laughs> waste management. So wait, you're you cheating? You're cheating you're on che- this on what his you, podcast? Well, actually, your pod- where's this information pod- coming no, from? Oh, straight from the ho- horse's mouth, my friend. Straight from the heart. Why is your horse's <laughs> mouth right here? Straight from the heart. <laughs> so actually, not only were you guys, you guys think you were the first. You're not. So actually, you guys are like oh. the third wheel. What? The third yes. wheel. Third wheel. You've done this before? So... Let's rewind the clocks back a few months. Mm. Just let them go. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you're going to hear the truth. Mm-hmm. That's really what's going to happen here. So, That's wrong. why I came tonight. Our friend over here. Wrong. Totally false. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Richard. It's true. Abigail DiPalantino <laughs> came o- to me o- and said, came to me and said, oh, I want to do a sports podcast and I think you'd be perfect. And I said, great, let's do that. So we had dinner. It was really romantic. There was drinks, yep. and we started uh, okay, doing a podcast, a sports <laughs> podcast. It's called No One Likes Us, We Don't Care. Yes. Great name, too, for Philly Sports. It's great. Sports, right? It's a cool name, right? Yes. Yeah. No, it is a good name. Yeah. I yeah. like it. Yeah. I came up with it. Yeah. I came up with it. That was good. No, no, I good. came up with it so hardcore. Yeah, I came up with it so hard. I could see you coming up with that. He, I, he's all right with the names, you know. Yeah. Anywho, back to me. <laughs> so... We're here for the truth after, tonight, right? Yeah, right. So okay. after, after a few <laughs> episodes, which, by the way... Rich cannot produce a podcast to save his life. I don't know if you guys have realized this. Have you guys noticed that? Because I feel like media. I do a he's lot of this. He's good at social media. He's, he's not good at social like... media because I also did the page <laughs> and he contributes nothing to it. No, I do good with the social media. You do pretty good with did the social media. Did you see that clip that I did? Pretty good with Thank you, media. Tommy. Yeah. I'm going to make a clip for our last week's episode. But our customers, customers, our listeners oh. are hearing this now. So. Uh, mm-hmm. uh. <laughs> so go ahead. So sorry about that. <laughs> Oh man, Harold! I think got to put some jazz on to kind of clear <laughs> the air. <laughs> I'm just gonna fill in the gap here with jazz. So, so if I may, if I may continue to this heartbreaking Please story. Please do. So after a few episodes, you know, Rich kind of Rich kind of ghosts me a little bit, right? It's very yeah. upsetting. Oh yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm kind of asking him, you know, is there somebody else in the relationship? He's like, no, nah, baby, you're the only one for me. You're the only one for me. So I wound up following him one night. To this location. Oh, oh! And I caught him red-handed. So oh. when he came back, like all his clothes were on the on the lawn, and I'm like yeah. bawling hysterically, like, "How could you do this to me? I thought I was the only one." And then Man, you know, what a scene, Rich. Yeah, yeah, and then he kind of did like the Eddie Murphy, like, "Wasn't me." And then I'm like, <laughs> okay, because it wasn't you. And then now I find out that this is happening. So tell the truth, Joe. I, I'm telling the truth. That's not what happened, Joe. What happened then, Rich? Do we need to bring lawyers in, into this? <laughs> I am a lawyer. <laughs> we, we, we're going to set a lot of cool. This is how, how I'm a lawyer. Do you know how many episodes of Law & Order I've watched oh. in my life? Dung, dung. If I ever got arrested, I would not need a lawyer, and I would win. You know how many I'd bands I've been in minutes. with Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> <laughs> He's a great bass player. One half. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. Well, so now we're so you, now we're really in this podcast yeah. menage a trois There's going on here. There's a discrepancy. You you said well, that's it, not the truth. I, can do you mind settling the matter? Once yes, and for Richard. All? <clears throat> so what happened? Here's the deal. Yeah. I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So great here's visual. what happened. That was a great visual for everybody <laughs> watching at home. So here's the deal. I just flicked a booger for your listeners. Mm. Okay. So. <clears throat> you wonder why you guys. What part was I? Use. What mm. part was I? Uh, Disputing, so you were trying to fabricate some kind of lie, and you're stalling. Mm. This is what happened. That symbol sounded like it fell in the steps. So, <laughs> the <laughs> um, what really happened was this. I felt that even though we never released an episode yet of that podcast, hmm. I feel like I kind of already outgrew it. You, you know what I mean? Like I already felt like my fame was begin, becoming too much for you to handle. And I didn't want to be that way for you. I wanted to be like, we're in this thing together. 50, 50 right now. Cause I was at a party the other day. Paparazzi was everywhere. And I don't want to expose it? that to you. I don't want you to be exposed to that life. I don't think you're ready for it yet. So that's why I wanted to go, okay, let me go start something else here. And before, like, paparazzi's already everywhere no, now. See, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this. See, I kind of feel because 
you kept screwing up all the episodes that we did that I needed to send you back to the miners to kind of get your skills going. It wasn't really me that was the pot. <laughs> did you get back to miners. the mine? Back to the yeah. coal mine with you. Yes. So, I mean, not so in the miners, not so much as, you know, Blake. obviously these guys have their have their stuff together. You know, yes. you didn't. Well, I have my so stuff together. So I think you need now. to learn from the best before, because clearly I am the talent clearly. of this organization. Tommy, Tommy has Watch the, your blood pressure. Yeah. You know, it's you know what was very telling right there was as you were as you were trying to relay that story mm. to Joe, mm. your eyes were drifting up into the right. Which, yes. if anybody had done their research, they you know you could, they could tell you that that means you're lying. No, up actually, no. To the right. No, up no, no. To the right means up you're visually the right. trying no, no. to imagine. No, things. honestly, can I tell you what I was doing? Yeah. So, please. Yeah. A lot of times when I what's up start, in the top right? What's when up I start, there? I'm going to tell the you. Words of Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> tell us. Tell us now. <laughs> You will try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try spinning. That's a cool trick. <laughs> My new empire. <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. Please, yeah. please. Well, the reason I look up and to the right mm -hmm. is because when I start talking about my future, right? Yeah. There's a lantern fly up there. I, I start thinking about the statue that is going to be built of me one day. And that statue is going to be me looking up and to the right my hand out like this yeah and my friends is this gonna be like, a statue that kind of looks like ronaldo did with his statue no it's gonna be like 10 times bigger than that it's actually i'm thinking of like uh statue of liberty size right and basically the base of it right. is gonna be all of my friends like really good likeness of you guys like i don't i want like really good likeness kind of like at my feet but we're like this this tall I mean, you're oh, you're smaller than me. Smaller than that. Like not that small, because I want to make sure people can recognize that. Oh, like this is Joe, this is Tommy, this is Steve, right? right, right. And you guys are kind of like looking up to me like this, like for help, you know. Mm. And I'm ignoring you because, like, you see, like on and the your statue, foot, your my, foot is like it's right crushing on, somebody's yeah, it's head. Crushing, yeah, yeah, I'm like I'm like yeah. stomping on top of you know like Aaron's head or something. You, you know, are yeah. peons to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm kind of like reaching up like this, and I have a red cape. That's the only part that's not a sculpture. That part's actually blowing in the wind. You know, so I, I that's what I come, think about whenever yeah, I come to the realization, gentlemen, that you can have him. I don't, I don't, I don't want him now. <laughs> he's damaged goods. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's your problem now. He's not mine. <laughs> so know, that's that. We so don't then, need so this like, monkey business. Years later, we're gonna find, we're gonna bump into each other in the street, right, and have that awkward. Oh, hey, how's it going? And then you gotta yeah. leave. So I have to explain to my other podcast what happened. I'm like, oh, it's just an ex. Don't worry oh, about boy. it. Yeah, like, he means uh, nothing to me. And like, then everybody on your podcast is like, man, I really wish we could have gotten. Nope, that's like, not exactly what wish I we could have gotten it on a no, podcast. You know? This is the first time I feel like we've been at, we've had a podcast where like we have we have like attacked Rich. Like normally normally True. we just attack the guest the entire episode. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like we shouldn't be doing <laughs> that. And we had we had a guest, we now have a guest mm. who is dishing it back. I like this. There's, I like the battle lines have so been drawn. So I'm, I'm I'm available for any other future podcast because apparently because apparently this one doesn't want to do anything with me. So we should actually team together and do our own podcast without Rich. Um, we can call. I it, don't know if you want to hang out with this minor league guys. Yeah, stop. <laughs> Us miners. Yeah. I didn't mean Us it that coal way. Miners. But yeah, a great, we get a, a little sweaty. We get a little sooty. <laughs> That's how I like them. Anyway, but I think we'd have like, you know, like a the name could be like No Riches Allowed. Oh, I like that. Boy, that's good. Man, we, that's We could hang a, a sign on the door. <laughs> like No Riches Allowed? Yeah. Oh, yeah and like, then we like would invite you girl. anyways just to be like, hey, why don't you come hang out? And oh, then, like have me sit down and like, kind of see what I could have been a part of? No, 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 no. Like you would uh -huh. just be at the door looking in. Like we would have all of the windows open. You'd be able to see inside. We're just having fun. So I do that every week? Drinking beers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We just so, invite you every And you could be like visible like, hey, on the babe. camera just kind yeah. of like looking. <laughs> and everyone's while you knock yeah, the, and you wave. This and window. This window back yeah. here. Yeah, I think we could fit you in back hey, there. Hey, we could feed him spicy food out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hey, babe, I can't hang out tonight. I got to go look through the window of my friend's podcast. <laughs> McDonald's, can I take your order? <laughs> Here's some spicy peppers. I take this as a compliment, guys, because I know you know the value of what I bring to this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we could probably yeah, we can probably yeah, measure yeah, it in yeah, Dogecoin, yeah. I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 a lot of it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe like one Maybe or two. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a ring wraith. So, Joe. Was. So, Rich. What do so you got, Jeff. man? <laughs> 
So listen, I'm tired of segueing into different I was topics. Gonna say, you're gonna... You guys do your job. Oh, you, okay. you, guys, you guys take care of it because yeah. everyone's attacking me. Yeah, I know I'm in charge of this whole thing, but come on, you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, if you'd actually let us talk, then maybe we get a great segue. I've been going. sitting here like, taking abuse this whole time. That's what I've been doing. Eh, I just eh, now eh, defended myself eh, with the truth, right? And, and you deserved it. Yeah, that's the thing, though. You did deserve it. There was some real combat going on there, very, very of a very mortal kind. A mortal combat, if oh, you Oh, have you seen yeah. the new movie, by chance? I don't watch TV. I don't you don't watch TV that. at all? No. Are you a communist? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love jazz, too. So what's this Mortal Kombat movie? Um, so it is a remake of a very horrible movie that came out in the 90s called Mortal Kombat based oh. on the video game. 95. 95. Thank you very much. And uh, so it came. Game, yeah. You're my son was born. Really? Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes. so it's on H- it came out on HBO Max the other day. So I kind of gave it a shot. Yeah. And it's uh, equal parts. The trailer looked good. Better. Well, the trailer did look good. Yeah. Uh, but it's equal parts. Better than the originals and worse than the originals. Oh. I don't know if I want to oh. do spoilers. But there's a couple... Yeah. There's something like... The choreography, the fight scenes are actually really good. I've heard, yeah. And heard then Tino there's some story. Really or something that. There's some, some of the stories were just like... It just makes no sense. Mm. What's um, mm. What parts made it bad? Um, I would say for me is... And I'm going to try not to spoil this. But so the main character is not a playable Mortal Kombat character from the game. So basically oh. he's so just there. an original character to right. it. Right. So he's literally just the oh. expo- like he's the exposition guy. So let's explain Mortal Kombat through this guy who has no idea what's going on. Mm. And his Mortal Kombat powers are just dumb. He can't he's basically like Vincent Chase and Entourage, where he's supposed to be the main guy, but he's the worst character in the movie. Mm. Mm. It's like a narrator. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> but he's but he's like a really dumb narrator. It's like the like narrators know what go is going on. Right, he, they know the, he just the has this confused thing, yeah. look on his face. He's like, what's going on? Does he have fighting oh. powers? Uh, he does fight a little bit. So he's like a uh, UFC guy. Oh, I've never seen that in the synopsis oh. yeah. of the movie. That's right. Yeah, yeah oh, he's a UFC weird. guy that tries to make it, and then he has this tattoo. That sounds a UFC guy. Yes. Yeah, so he's not, he's he was a, born in '95, right? Yeah, my he's a good UFC guy. Yeah. <clears throat> so he has this tattoo that he's never got explained. Then Jax randomly says, "Oh, because you're chosen for this tournament." And ah. So then the rest of it's like him going, what's going on? What tournament? And then he meets everybody else and mm. chaos ensues. Mm. Wow. That doesn't sound that great. <laughs> it's not. It's But it's the pro, It's better than the original ones. That's sad. Even okay. though the bar was set so low. Yeah. Like those. I remember seeing that one in the theater and just going, this is just I, horrible. I only saw the trailer of the original one, too. I haven't seen either of them. Mm. But have you? I've never seen either of them. You though, haven't no. seen either of them? No, I, I just... Like video game movies for me, I've just been burnt so many times. I'm like, I know it's going to be awful, you know, mm. but I'm hoping sure. that they turn it around soon. Like they're coming out with Uncharted movie. Although I think Tom, Tom Holland. Holland is a terrible choice for that part. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. What's the new Tom yeah. Holland movie that came out with uh, uh, him and the girl from Star Wars? Him and Daisy Ridley. Oh, I just saw that advertised yesterday. I forget what it was. Something waiting. Maybe. <laughs> Well, all right. Uh, 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 <laughs> gonna have to cut well, out that white space in there, right? <laughs> based on your, uh, based on your previous episode, if it's a rom com, there's got to be a number in front of it. So, <laughs> it's like t- twenty six waiting, yes. thirty six waiting, table nineteen waiting. <laughs> so, would you consider this new Mortal Kombat movie a rom com? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. There's a lot of sexual tension going on. Ah, uh, yes, between really? uh, Kano and Jax. Are yeah, those sure, no, uh, dogs' names, aliens' names? <laughs> well, that would actually cereal. Be a, that sounds like a cereal. Those are man. dogs' names. Yeah. That'd be great dogs' names. Yeah. This Jackson. is sponsored by Kano Jax. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a cereal. Yeah. Dog now treats. in blackberry flavor. <laughs> did you ever? So did you play? Did you guys play the Mortal Kombat games before? I did. I saw them. <laughs> I played them. You saw them? <laughs> yeah. See, like, I. I, I grew up I grew up in, in, in a pretty conservative household. Mm. And so we were not allowed to mm. play the game where you ripped somebody's head off. You know, was, I can yeah. I can see that. I can see that being for uh, a ten year old. Being forbidden. <laughs> the <laughs> first the, what was the first M rated game you guys ever owned? Oh, that's mm. a good question. Halo. Halo oh. three. Okay, great game. Oh, was that M? Awesome. When yeah. it came out? It was, Halo was always yeah. M, but it never felt like it should be. Right. Was, Today's yeah. standards I feel like it wouldn't have been oh, M. It probably no. wouldn't have been. Yeah. No. 
Mine actually was Mortal Kombat because I believe oh, that really? was the first that gave birth to the the rating system. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Oh, you might be yes. right. Actually, yeah, that sounds familiar. That's in that video game documentary. Yeah, yeah. I remember hearing something about that. That's yeah. right. Do you still remember the uh, the blood code for Genesis? I never played it for Genesis. No. I played S- Street Fighter for Genesis. Never played Mortal Kombat because the Super Nintendo Mortal Kombat did not have blood at all. Mm. But the Genesis version, mm. you had to put in a code. I saw a, a thing on oh. YouTube about that. Yeah. And 20 plus years later, wow. I still remember this code. That's awesome. A-B-A-C-A-B-B. Wow. Done. Huh. It's kind of like me remembering huh. Vince Clortho's speech in Ghostbusters. It was pretty impressive. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that got me all the chicks. I bet it did. Bet it did. You know, yeah. What was yeah. your first Emory oh, yeah. game, Steve? I, I want to feel like one it's yet. Halo 2. Oh, okay. yeah, Halo 2? F- no, no. Halo, it's Halo also. Three. <laughs> I never, never played Halo also, did you? Halo also. Halo, also. Halo 2 2? <laughs> it was better than Reach. It was worse than the first one. I Halo think Halo also? 2 yeah. is my favorite one. Halo 2 was great. Halo 2. Say you know, that had like dual wielding. Right? Yeah, yeah, wielding dual wield, the needlers. That's most people's mm-hmm. not. The, that's like the, the one they would consider the worst. That's interesting. Oh, I, I thought the campaign that. was amazing and the multiplayer was Yeah, fun. <clears throat> I liked them too. I think Halo 3 was my favorite from Recovery. Was a, that was that was the one that really sold Yeah, I loved Halo 3. And then Halo Reach came out and I just wanted to play Halo 3. So I stopped mm-hmm. playing that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then Halo 4 was cool. Halo 5 felt like Call of Duty. Mm, it, yeah, yeah, mm. it was a That's very different heard. feel. Yeah, yeah, I beat Ben in that. Remember that? Yeah, that was really great. Because Ben, just for our listeners who don't know, Ben. <laughs> oh boy, Ben thinks that he's the best Halo player of all time because he competes and does all this stuff. I beat him. Really? I beat him. So <laughs> okay. Would, you're, would you consider <laughs> you beat an imaginary friend? Who was the beta male in that situation? Um, <laughs> obviously him. Okay, because beta male and rich don't end up in the same sentence. Are you sure? What Ooh. does anybody know what a beta male is? I thought it was rich. <laughs> if I looked it up in the oh, dictionary, well, that's a yeah. rich. Yeah, that's his picture. But I'm actually less interested in the beta male. I'm more interested in the beta fish uh, <laughs> because the aquatic life is just so fascinating. So I wonder. Speaking if, of current events, when that fish you know, is swimming downstream, I'd call that a current event. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Wah, I think wah, our listeners are wah. primarily interested in fish. Eight ounces of berry in and I, <laughs> I think that so. was a pretty good one. Yeah. 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 Wasn't That's, bad. uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so beta fish are actually pretty smart. For our fish listeners out there, sorry, continue. No. <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere. No, right? no, you oh, go okay. somewhere. Oh, okay. You swim down that stream. Where are we no, going? Uh, <laughs> I'll well, so, be waiting at the bottom of the stream. Wait with big arms open. Yeah, I know. Under the big sea. fins open. Yeah. Man. So I, I had a. When I was working out in Lancaster, I, I stayed with a family out there. Why did you drive to Lancaster to work out? <laughs> Listen. Why would you ever want to go to really Lancaster? Really nice it's planet a long fitness story. There. <laughs> There's so many things. Did really you work clean? Yeah, you did left you work for Turkey Hill. Oh, yeah. gosh. I wish I had. We better be careful. We have Amish listeners. Yeah. That's <laughs> At least they fish. As long as there's I heard that's your top demographic. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, the Amish should have taken that that year long <laughs> trek into the world. Yeah, to Shiraz, figure it out. If yeah, you will. yeah. The, sh- the Shiraz. <laughs> Is that what they call it? That's not what that's what that's not what that's oh, called. Oh, they call it. I call it the sh- Schwanz. The Schwanz. Yeah, that's not it either. Oh. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, that's what it is. The it's Sauvignon the Amish Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> the white wine. That's what it is. The Amish Pinot Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, tell your story, yeah, so man. So the beta fish. So this the family I stayed with. You um, stayed with a family of beta fish? No, I stayed with a family of beta fish. I stayed a with school. a family. This was a school of. <laughs> That's what it was. This, this is turning family. into quite the shark tale. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Steve can never get a story out without us. I can't us get a story out. This blank. doesn't turn into a duck dynasty. Oh, Keep going. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> or a stalker story. Uh, it's uh, they, they had beta fish. They had three beta fish. Who did? This family I stayed with. Family of what? The family of humans that I stayed with. Oh, oh, oh now it makes sense. Gotcha. Oh, oh, it was oh, confusing right. before we yeah, yeah. clarified. Yeah, I didn't the understand. Bears, it wasn't the wolves. It wasn't the beta fish. It was I was the thinking lamprey humans. eels. Yeah. <laughs> so you're staying with Where this family of humans night? that had um, fish. Yeah. So they had they had fish. They you have to separate them because otherwise they try to kill each other, which Shoot. is unfortunate. Facts. Yeah. Mm. Which yeah. is strange for their mm-hmm. name hmm. because they're beta, not alpha, mm. but. Oh, I'm listening. That was the rich slurping up the rest of uh, yeah. the fish bowl <laughs> that we keep here move. in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Real fish move. <laughs> Anyways, so these beta fish, if you put them next to each other, they would kind of like flare up if they saw each other. What does that look like? <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that what it look like? Kind of like, like that? Yeah. They get all red. Okay. And then they just shake a lot. No, okay. Yeah. They kind of flare up their tails. Okay. They 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 do flourish a little bit just to like. So do they, they turn flourish. into like the Incredible Hulk of Beta? Yeah. Fish? They're they're kind of they're you ready won't to like break me out. If I'm angry. <laughs> they're ready to break out. <laughs> they're not. No, no they're not. He's seizing. not having a seizure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a, it's very misleading to yeah, our yeah, listeners yeah. and our and our watchers, our viewers. No, our so the, watchers. That yeah, sounds like watchers. stalkers. Man. No, it's like <laughs> it's like bird watching. Maybe, oh, maybe we have <laughs> stalkers. Maybe Alex can take them out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so the beta fish would would get up and you know in their hackles, but yeah. then they also knew <laughs> when like the mom would come into the room and they would get all like they'd get all uppity and they'd be swimming around and. They'd get all happy that she was there and, you know, she would feed them and whatnot. So, like, they're actually pretty smart for... They're not like goldfish. So, are you, you saying know? that if, like, anyone here has been accused of being a beta male, they would actually just don't realize how smart we are? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry, guys, this beer's I mean, we are smart. Yeah. I, uh... Well, IQ of 370. The, is there an, another option besides alpha male or beta male? Is there an... I want an like option. A Charlie See, male? I don't, like I don't want to be either. Gamma male. Gamma male. <laughs> gamma male. Yeah. I want to be a chamomile. A chamomile. <laughs> that's where that, that's like where a, that comes from. I want to like be a yeah. soothing... Yeah, the, the, ca- the gamma males love to burn chamomile incense. Yeah, there we go. Yes. <laughs> I think a beta male is and like... they make tea out of it. They make yeah. tea. <laughs> What's an example of a beta male? Like, what would you if you like saw a dude and you'd be like, "Oh, that dude's a beta male." Like, wh- how would you describe him? A Shiraz was, of sorts. I, a what? A mullback, if you will. <laughs> mm. I would say anybody that's in between the height of like under six feet, but taller than like Careful. five seven. Careful, maybe. I don't like yeah, I'm that. I'm definitely not in that. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not. not. <laughs> well, because you get too small, and then you, you got those guys with the Napoleon complex. Oh yeah! Wait, 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 wait! wait, wait. To take over what all size are we talking yeah. about? Mm-hmm. What it's a range? Oh, what was He's the range not again? Talking about Rich, right? Because I mean, Rich did say a couple episodes ago that he wants to go to England and conquer all of England. No, yeah. no, no, no! I just want yeah. to destroy it. Okay. Yeah. Why do you like to destroy England? I feel like that's empty threats, though. Mostly, if you if you go back and listen to uh, episode one, yeah, I'm not gonna episode do that. one or two, one and a half. And uh, basically, I, I, like Shrek I, gave, 1. <laughs> I gave one of my points for my presidency is that we never finished what we started in the Revolutionary War. We just let them go back to England and we need to finish what we started. So that's what I was talking about. We need to end England. But anyway, um, I will finish so what, what you started. <laughs> I will finish what, what you started. started. Anyway, teach me, grandfather. <laughs> what's the height of the, the people you think are beta males again? I would say anywhere under six feet. But taller than five six. So five, we're talking seven. between five six and five twelve. So we're talking like ninety eight percent of males. Okay, so. gotcha. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say that's yeah, that's, that's pretty, so, good, pretty wide. How tall yeah. are you, Joe? Six six even. Actually. Uh, oh, that's that's convenient. So um, <laughs> <laughs> interesting because it's funny. I'm five ten, and I don't appreciate that. Okay. Well, I didn't flat mm. out say that this mm. is the. What? Mm. This Are is you not 5'10"? so. Why does everybody Are not think 10? I'm 5'10"? Everybody's like, oh, yeah, he's not 5'10". <laughs> and then I stand there and I'm 5'10". My doctor was like that. He was like, oh, you're not 5'10". He measures me. I'm like, you're 5'10". This episode is sponsored by <laughs> Levi's 5'10 jeans. <laughs> the denim that hugs you. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say it was like that black and white. If you fit that range, then you're a beta male. It's funny. I mean, you are just a quintessential example, but yeah, of what other people of a beta male. How am I? How am I beta? I would just say, look at you. Did you scream? You exude your pores exude beta. Okay. But I think then we're, we're getting into semantics here of, you know, is it beta male or beta male? You Mm. know, because if it's beta, that's important. Alpha beta. (laughs) Alpha beta male than you are, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that's I don't know where to go with. I don't know where to take it from I'm there. a better man it. than you. <laughs> 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 I picture a beta male like choosing to not hang out with guy friends instead he hangs out with like chicks. Yeah, I love doing yeah, that's that. Yeah. You know, they can love hang out with chicks that's instead. Me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I just, you? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just looking around. Was that the art of arc you have of me in here? Looking up and to the right. <laughs> up and to the right. 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 
I, I, boys do have good relationships with their moms typically, Ooh. whereas girls tend to yeah. bond more with their fathers. If you have a good relationship with your mom, you're a beta male, right? Dang it. Is that, no. That's not necessarily yeah. fair. Yeah, that's yeah not... you become 25. If anyone is shedding your mom. some tears listening to this podcast, just know we're with you. <laughs> yeah, I st- once I hit 25, I told my mom, I'm out. You said, That's all I said. I'm never well, talking right. to you ever again. I didn't even say. I just said I'm out. I haven't talked to her since then. Mm. You said deuces. No, no. I just said I'm out, and then I left. I, I had dinner. Didn't clean up my plate. Ooh. I'm out. Left. It, That's a it savage was the dolls, move, wasn't right? it? There. Yeah, man. It, it was the dolls. Yeah, don't yeah. get me started on that. Again. Would yeah. you guys consider yourselves mommy's boys or daddy's <laughs> girls? <laughs> well, daddy's girls, obviously. Of course, Gosh, I'm man. a mommy's boy. Yeah, m- mommy's boy for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. See, okay, that's weird. All four of us. Maybe. Well, he said he said he's a... Yeah, probably. But yeah. he changed his mind later. So. Yeah. I'm probably a mama's boy. <laughs> probably. Well, yeah. so okay, we're we're saying we're saying it's bad to be a beta male cuz I feel like oh, yeah. we're hearing a lot of negative connotation about this. Yeah, it's bad to be a beta male. Okay. Why? Because it'd be like it's, it'd be like kind of like like the bros before hoes thing, you know what I mean? That you just flipped well, that. So is the only the only qualification that you you're hanging out with women before hanging out with guys? No, because, uh, no, because you're right. Because then, <laughs> wow. <laughs> because no. He's married. Yeah, because I hang out with my wife a lot. I do get it. <laughs> And I'm gonna, totally alpha. How do I'm above walk this alpha. Line. I was gonna say I knew you had a big appetite, but both feet rich. Yeah. I, <laughs> here's the deal, man. I love my wife. Okay, and I hang out with her a lot. I hang out with my wife a lot. That doesn't make me a beta male. That makes me an alpha male because because what happens is what happens when we're hanging out. I set the rules in our house, which makes me an alpha male. And because like it's funny, my wife will be like. I'm not gonna do that. Please, yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, please. Please do that and keep dig yourself digging. even keep more digging. of a grave. Oh, so my wife will just be like, "Hey, babe, <laughs> do you, do you want to do this to do this today?" And I'm like, "This is what we're doing." And then I put the plans down the table, and this is how we do it. And then you leave, and she does whatever she wants anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, it's that's kind of how it goes. Oh, it's absolutely, it's how it goes. Yeah, I try that. I have met your wife on a couple of occasions, and it did, that's. Three minutes in, I'm like, oh, hey, she runs the show. Hey, Rich, yeah. She runs the house. For sharing. <laughs> She'd be too Babe? Monopoly all the time, right? That's really annoying. We play Monopoly Deal. I used to whoop her in that all the time. Now she figured out the strategy <laughs> oh. where she just beats me every time. Oh, no. It's so annoying. Oh, man. boy. I, I hate guess it. she's better at managing finances. Oh. She's, burnt. She does look like a real estate mogul. <laughs> She really I does. have a dollar yeah. in my bank account, so <laughs> I can say stuff like that. <laughs> Without retribution. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I bought GameStop at 20 cents a share. <laughs> I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> you really? Did you have no, some game? Okay. No, stop. You had some Robin Hood. One of these days, we're going we're gonna to en- end up interviewing someone who did buy GameStop at 20 cents a share. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it won't be any day days. soon, I think. No. But no. Yeah. Uh, no, I I bought AMC, but then that's when Robin Hood closed the selling. You purchased all the, of AMC, the like you bought the movie theater. Yeah, I did. I wow. did. The one I love the one up Steve on three hundred nine. Yeah. Oh, you, just that one. I didn't just know it was one. like a franchise just type thing. I, you I could buy individual in. ones. I walked in and I put eighty three dollars in cash down on the, and I said, "I'm buying the place." I'm picturing. <laughs> I'm picturing you. <laughs> I'm picturing you like Bruce Wayne in Dark Knight. You go like. Well, I'm buying this movie theater, and we're gonna set some new rules in this place. <laughs> and they open up a check, and it's eighty three dollars. <laughs> like you walk away with two checks, and it's just eighty three bucks. We're putting a pool in over here. <laughs> They're like, sir, <laughs> give me some pitchers of water. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, sir, but this is eighty three dollars Canadian, <laughs> which is only twenty five dollars American. <laughs> You're this short get, about sixty this, bucks. This gets you one. No, this gets you and two tickets to a, <laughs> yeah, that's to a movie. That's, right, and that's where I walked in. Yeah. And I don't know if you know this, we're partners in AMC. Right. So we right. bought the 309 one, and yeah. I had about 17 bucks left over. Yeah. And I bought every AMC theater in Idaho. Really? Yes. At a steep discount. Uh, it sounds steep like Steep discount. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man. Yep. Did you yeah. want each one for like 30 cents? They no. Were, mm-hmm. About that, maybe. Yeah. Something like that. What's happening? I think there was hey, only... Hey, uh, hey, be more unprofessional. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think the only deal was I had to, uh, every theater on Sunday, I had to 
play like Footloose or something like that. That's, okay. that's, that's, a, that's a pretty yeah. good that's deal. That's only it's a sweet deal. deal. It's only in the south and the west. Kenny Loggins. Can you have an 80s movie without a Kenny Loggins song in it? Yes. That's a rule, right? Name one. Top Gun doesn't have Kenny Loggins in it. Karate Kid. Can we... Can I use you guys as a... Kenny Loggins was in Return of the Jedi, right? Yes, Absolutely. that's the one. He played... Um, Stormtrooper number nine. He I played believe. Yoda, I think, in that yeah. one. It was like, it was like a one-off thing. And then it wasn't. <laughs> then it went back to um, Frank Oz after that. Can we, yeah. go to, can we go to Top Gun? Because I'd, I'd love to settle this. Yes. Okay. I, have a, I have a debate with a friend of mine. Well, 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 well. I have a debate with a friend of mine that Top Gun is the greatest 80s movie of all time. Uh, Ooh. Wait, he now, thinks that or you think that? No, I, no, that, yeah, that I is my that. That's that is my okay. is my opinion. Okay, hear me out. I'm it has you. literally everything. Give us so the jazz. Oh, this, I'm sorry, that's your line. Okay. This is what makes an like a great '80s movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number one, action, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Number two, you got the drama. Yeah. yeah. Right. With the, with the chick. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, with Goose, Kelly McGillis, with, with, with Goose, Goose dying. Too. Yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. Um, Val Kilmer's in it. Killer, co- killer soundtrack, and that's where Kenny Loggins oh, yeah. comes in. Oh, yeah. Kenny Loggins, it is one of the greatest cut. Co- Kenny Loggins that. is not in Top Gun. Absolutely, Dunn. it has the love scene. What? There's no Kenny Loggins in Top Gun. He did the entire damn soundtrack. Oh, wait, he did. Yeah, he did. I don't remember that. Anywho, oh, <laughs> back to me. So <laughs> has the love <laughs> in the in the most. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. We had to make sure our listeners didn't walk into a Kenny Loggins concert. That was actually concert. one of the better ones that you've done. So Thank far. you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, and boom. I think the main thing that makes Top Gun great, or any of these movies great, mm-hmm. is that it defeats communism. Huh? What? So if you take <laughs> yes. any '80s movie, like Rocky yes. Four. Exactly. Yeah. That's why when the Soviet Union starts chanting Rocky's name. That's like mm-hmm. why Rocky Four is the second greatest '80s movie of all time. So it's. It, it literally goes Top Gun, Rocky IV, Red Dawn, mm-hmm. and yeah. it goes from there. Yeah. Mm. So when I the Mexicans people, and the Russians yeah, invade. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So I challenge anybody to name any kind of 80s movie right. that is better than Top Gun by following that formula, and nobody has come close. Back to the Future. No, because there's no communism. Yeah, remember that scene where Marty McFly uh, no. kills Oh, Stalin? the Albanians. Um, where he, he steals no, the I plutonium, thought that was not, that, right? No, the Libyans. They were Libyans. Libyans. Yeah, they're Libyans. The Libyans! (laughs) Libyans, not communists. Not communists. I like where where you're It's close. No, but there's a deleted scene for sure where Marty McFly goes back and kills Stalin, but it's played by the guy who plays Biff. Biff. (laughs) Oh, yes, I did see that deleted scene where he was Mm, walking away mm. and Stalin goes, What are you, chicken? Yeah, and And then he kills him. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I believe he runs him over with the DeLorean. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. They Whoa. cut that out. Robert Zemeckis was like, yeah. Oh. And then that, that, that and then he goes back into 1985. Yes. Doc, you won't believe it. I killed Stalin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the world's crazy. Yeah. And and Ronald Reagan didn't have to do anything. Yes. You know. So I remember that. He yeah. continued to act. Ronald I believe that's what it was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He was still an actor. Yes. I'd like yeah. to bring yeah. one yeah. movie Alternate up. Future. Go ahead. Uh, the Hunt for Red October. Oh. Was that 80s? That was in the 90s. That's that such a great movie. That is a good movie. movie. That is a good movie. It's true. We will. We will pass under the sonar net. <laughs> Launch the mission. Con sonar, crazy <laughs> Ivan. I love that movie, man. It's a good one. It's oh, good. Movie. What's the one where Clint Eastwood hmm. is the fighter pilot and he flies into Russian airspace to steal a, a plane and then he flies it by Firefly or something like that? You ever oh, seen? oh, oh, yeah. Uh, the Notebook. I yeah. Think. Yeah, yeah, the notepad. that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. That movie. Well, it's Clint a rom com. Clint Eastwood. I know what you're talking about. Like he he steals a Russian spy plane type yep. thing, right? Yep. And flies it back. Yep. That was. Um, oh, what about Rambo? Oh, Rambo is a great. I love movie. all the Rambo. Isn't movies. that like mm-hmm. Vietnam? And yeah, he's definitely well, yeah, the communist. Second, he's definitely well, going after communist. Communist. Well, no, in the second one is when he goes blood. to take the photos. I didn't do anything. Rambo, this is this is Raven. <laughs> also, Predator. Predator, Not they're it. fighting against Colombians and Predator. And who knows Ooh, if the Predator knock, comes knock. from a communist oh. government? Mm-hmm. You know, Predator no, might it's, come from no, that. It's, it's, that's, that's a stretch. <laughs> I don't know. Great one liners, though. It's probably one of the king of Stick one-liners. around. Stick around. <laughs> Get to Come your in. 
Go! Get to the chopper! So you cooked up a story and put the rest of us in a meat grinder. <laughs> is that is that Predator? Yeah. Were you just I, doing I Predator? I was doing the animal. That sounded kind of like Jar Jar in a Predator costume. <laughs> 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 Predator Man. That's a good freaking movie right there. Hmm. That is That's a crazy movie. Predator man. and Rom-com Gladiator. Oh yeah. Yes. Predator 29 and Predators. Gladiator, <laughs> two of the most manly movies of all time. It is. Predator is about, just so manly. And the six hour Pride and Prejudice. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Colin what about some of the, the crossovers. Mr. Bingley in that movie. Wow. Every Alien versus Predator movie sucks. Really? You every like every one? single one. Huh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they are not good. I don't know. I just, I just like, don't have high expectations for those movies. So you just kind of go just for so entertainment. It's like, it's, like, like, it's like the Mortal Kombat of yeah. Alien versus mm-hmm. Predator yeah. movies. Yeah. Speaking of low expectations, uh, Philly Sports. <laughs> wow. We kind of do, Tommy's our segue genius. We He's all have low king. expectations. Yeah. Everybody who has lived for some time in Philadelphia, especially those of us who grew up in these parts... And not have low York. expectations of everything, but particularly our sports teams. Why? Yeah, true. Why? Other I, people don't get it. I would like to know what it is that makes Philly sports like why they can never stay successful. Like yes. they'll have like a short run, but they never yeah. create a dynasty. It's always a fluke. Yeah. We also have a lot of negative energy pointed towards the teams that we root for. That's true. I don't yeah. think that's a bad thing, but I, I, I think that does that does happen. Also, we're way so. too sentimental. We are way too sentimental. Mm. Hence, signing Jason Peters like four times in a row when he's like ninety years old. Oh, do you mean to the veterans who yeah. we've had for a long time? Yeah, yeah I way, agree with that. It's ridiculous. I agree with a lot that. of thank you deals. You yeah, know I mean? a lot yeah. of thank you contracts. Yeah, you don't, see that. you don't see the Patriots doing that crap. And the way no. we deify former players who were never that good, even in their prime, like oh Ron gosh. Jaworski or Pat Burrell. Yeah, or Pat Burrell or Pat Burrell. Pat Burrell, he dyed his hair blonde on top of his head. He frosted his tips, so to speak. He was trying to look like Justin Timberlake, I feel. Yeah. I yeah. Think. Just, that's when that I That was a haircut. When I was a kid, when Pat Burrell did that, all the other kids got the I Pat think he Burrell. only home run twice, and one of them was at a Little League game. Just, yeah. Yeah. Do you know that in the World Series, <laughs> Pat Burrell only went like one for 25 in the, in the World Whoa. Series? That's pretty bad. Was he on the winning team? It's like 2%. He was. 4%. He, he has 4%. two World Series rings. <laughs> However, didn't he have a Maybe mega good explain. throw from like left field to home plate? No, yeah. Pat, Pat Burrell never did anything for the city. No, he was pretty awful. Should never have. Had I mean, him him being drafted, retired. him being drafted in the first round. I mean, he stole money in this organization did. without a mask or a gun. Yeah, <sighs> it, it was like uh, extortion. Pat Burrell is one of the only. He's the only Philly player besides Mike Schmidt to have like six plus twenty home run seasons in a row, and like it was like eight plus twenty one home run seasons in a row. And Pat Burrell was. One of the greatest. He's the greatest Philly of all time. <laughs> Tommy, I don't know if you know this, but he loves Pat Burrell. He loves no, I didn't know so, that. Pat Burrell is so my all time. So I baited him. I baited this. Yeah, yeah was, I baited uh, him. I don't like that. Jules calls right him there. Pat Burrow just to get under my skin. I don't like it. She Pat goes like, Burrow. "Oh, Pat Burrow." Oh, I don't to like get it. under your skin. I would yeah. rather to get under. Oh, like, she gets inside of my burrowing. skin. Oh. oh! We just blew out all of our listeners' yes. eardrums. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now bleeding from the ears. Yeah. Worth it. I would rather have the burrow or a burrow pushing a burrow. Isn't that a donkey? Henry a bur- yeah, David yeah. Burrow. A I'm not, a good, yeah, I'm not as, as good at these no, as you are. Right, yeah. But I would rather have the burrow <laughs> pushing the burrow than having Pat Burrow. What about Placido Polanco? Placido Polanco. There was a guy. That's Twice a, a Philly. I like to Twice I like Philly. I liked him. So he was, he was better Polanco. his first time around. Did you either, mm. uh, ever meet Pat Burrow? No, he's actually like... He's cheese, super cheese fries with him. Kind of, and I never had cheese fries. fries. I, I wish I did. That they went, they went to Johnny Rockets and got a milkshake. He's actually with two kind straws. of hard. <laughs> he was kind of hard to meet. He wouldn't do too many autographs and stuff. Um, and it really aggravates me because when I went to this customer's house and she had this whole Phillies room, and she had this Pat Burrell um, poster Burrow. that had hung from Veterans Stadium. Yeah, and she got that before they demolished it, and she yeah. got him to sign it. And I and was so you just, stole it on the way out. I wish I would like to make that my bed sheet. <laughs> huh. So I don't That's know if cool. you, I don't know if you gentlemen know this about Rich, and I don't think he knows I know about this. They know I'm good looking. But oh, now this is a true story. So I know, yeah. Rich <laughs> would continue. <laughs> Rich would continue to write letters <clears throat> to Pat Burrell, and he would never oh. answer. And that was Eminem's inspiration for Stan. Wow! Huh. Wow! I have he never to Pat Burrell, he's never answered. Did you do you photocopy all of the letters that you sent? We're gonna I, need a copy. I wrote your name on a soda cap. 
<laughs> also, Jules, one time for one of my birthdays, she tried to get Pat Burrell to come to my birthday party. Really? If he would have come to my birthday party, I think I would have died. Was I that going to cardiac arrest? Was that with Mike Simmons? Because Mike, Mike's, I think one of Mike's grandfathers or great grandfather was a Philly. Are you serious? I'm serious. It, like his last name was Simmons? No, I don't think his last name is Simmons, but uh, he he has ties with the organization still. So we were. Suffice it to say, we were trying to figure out if he could talk to somebody who could oh, talk to Pat So Burrell. you guys knew about it. You were trying to figure it out. Yeah, but I don't that know if that been... was the same time or not. Okay. That would have been amazing. That would have been so cool. Yeah. So keep working on that. <laughs> My 30th is coming out in keep September. Keep working on it, even if it's 10, 20 years from now. I'm turning 30 in September, so that'd be a great time for Pat Burrell to make an <clears throat> appearance. Um, hmm. Pat How? Burrell won a World Series. Two. Two. One with the Phillies and one with, and the, then Giants, with the Giants. Right? Yeah. Giants, yeah. Yeah. really? Yeah. I like the Giants; they're cool. Because uh, he's one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Good luck to the but Giants. I think and the their key, new head key coach. there is that only won <laughs> one with the Phillies. He was that. Hmm? I think the key word there is that he won one with the Phillies. Yes, and they have not won anything since that one. That Pat Burrell. Yeah, so he is the key. He is, is he the is Pat Burrell curse. Pat Burrell's either the wanna... key or there's something up with Philly sports. So if you want to play that game. They went back to back World Series with Pedro Feliz at third, and they haven't they gone to a World the Series since. They yes. lost the second. Fun one. fact: because Pat Burrell wasn't there. Fun fact: uh, I talked to Pedro Feliz on the phone once for a good minute and a half. How was how was he doing? He was doing great. I didn't know it was him. So, <laughs> oh. oh my so gosh, really? My my two friends are huge baseball fans, and they go to Cooperstown all the time. So the um, they go to the alumni games and the All Star games. Mm-hmm. So. He meets Pedro Feliz and he says, oh, oh wow. my friend Joe is a huge Phillies fan. What? Can I, do you mind if I get him on the phone? No. And he says, yeah, sure. Go ahead. So I'm like, hey, Monty, what's up? He goes, he goes hold on a second. I, uh, I got something yeah, on the phone for you. I got somebody on the phone. And I was like, hello. He goes, hey. I go, I'm sorry. Who is this? He goes, this is Pedro Feliz. And I didn't know what to say. Oh, I was yeah. Like, I was like, <gasps> thanks for that game winning hit. Game five. <laughs> <laughs> we won the World Series because of you. Thanks, bud. He goes, yeah, you're welcome. So how come you're not here? Now it's a Saturday, <laughs> right? And I am not working, but I'm like, oh, I had to work. And yeah. I'm like, why did I say that? Why did I? He's like, oh, well, I hope to see you next year. I'm like, yeah, you got it. I go up the phone. And you never got to meet him. Never got to meet him. That's I talked to him on the phone. That's really cool. That's cool. That I is really that cool. That story is not real. No, it's true. I, no, it's I, totally I think there's a lot of evidence. Vote? It's totally true. To the, the, none of that happened. Who votes that that wasn't a true story? It's totally a true story. Monty, um, I need you to comment and help me out on yeah, that. Comment. Monty, Darcy, you were there because it was your phone. Yes, Monty comment and Darcy. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm yeah, comment, sure like, and subscribe to tell the story. Monty, Monty and, and Darcy are that, that sounds fictitious like a, creatures. Yeah. That sounds like fabricated a, in a society <laughs> that is completely disconnected from the rest of the fabric of humanity's logistical questions about our ontological exploration. <laughs> Sorry. Steve right, rebuttal. Right. It's a got, lot of words. It's a lot of words. Rich. I felt like I was watching the last uh, ten minutes of the second Matrix movie. I'm a beta fish. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, your your headphones there are, are a little out of whack. What do you mean they're out of whack? The, the the thing is coming off on this side. Your right side. The your right side. The other side. I like to touch your this other side. right. <laughs> you feel that? No. Oh, I see it. Feel it. <laughs> okay, you guys keep talking. I'm gonna hang out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Out. Okay. So, um, you know what's sad too? It's like I feel like this, the 2008 Phillies man. That was just such a great time to be a Phillies fan. And this current generation, this current generation, it's tough. Gen Z, if it's you will, tough. Gen Z will will never understand Gen what it's yeah. like. You know, yeah. Gen Z. You know, Gen Z. Gen Z. Understand. They, like, they, 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 these kids down. now. Like I have my cousin has a has a six year old son, and he. Doesn't know oh. Phillies baseball without Bryce Harper. It's a weird. Oh wow! Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a weird... Bryce Harper's the man, by the way. Bryce Harper's amazing. Pat he Burrell. is. He is so he's good. no Chase Utley. He's really good, but he's better than Chase Utley. No, Bryce Harper. So? Bryce Nobody's Harper better Chase is better than say, Chase Utley. Nobody's you're gonna trade an Utley. infielder for an outfielder? I'm sorry, how many MVP hit? awards does Chase Utley I'm, have? Cool. Yeah. So he didn't break his hand in 07. Then he would have been one. He was a consistent hitter though, too. Yes, it was Bryce Harper. Yeah. He's a consistent 270 hitter. Chase was also. Amazing at the infield. And Bryce Harper's amazing in the outfield. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. Point rich. Yeah. <laughs> I secede. There we go. I secede from the union. Yeah. How many, uh, what was the most home runs Chase Lee ever hit in a season? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Mm. This I don't know. Yeah. Nowhere near 40. You I'll are, tell you that. You are the king of Phillies. 
That's right. The king of the Phillies. Shane Victorino, <laughs> center fielder. Shane Victorino was awesome. He was, he was the flying great. Hawaiian then. I miss him. And Carlos Ruiz. Yo, oh. if Dan Baker ever dies, I'm going to replace him because I could be a great um, uh, PA oh, for, yeah. for them. I could be yes. great. You know, because I, I, he does his thing. I could do it. Like, now batting Bryce Harper. See, I can do it. That's actually That's, really good. I actually thought Dan Baker was here. Really See, I can do it. Yeah. Mm. That was pretty good. You got to give you the look. Good. Now betting DD Gregorius. See, I can do it. <laughs> you are. Hard. I would say you are the Pat Burrell of Dan Baker impersonators. Mm. Oh, so the greatest mm-hmm. one? No, gotcha. No, the opposite. Uh, <laughs> so I mentioned something there. Yeah. Gen Z. Gen yeah. Z. Gen and I'd like to talk about them. Gen uh, Z. Yeah. They're probably Gen the primarily go make easy. up most of our listeners. Go easy. Yes. I'm going to go easy on them. Do, we do have youth group listeners. Oh, no. I'm going to go super I easy on them. A couple of them high five me this week. That oh, but we the podcast? podcast. Yes. Oh, then this, really? one, then yeah. this segment is That's dedicated to them. That's not when you hit them. big time. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have the teenagers listening. Yeah. <laughs> We've broken through. So here we go. We're going to. So we're going to lay in on them, but, re- but really softly, right? Okay. We're, we're not going to be mean. <laughs> Okay, yeah. we're gonna be really respectful of them and yeah. their stupid center parts. I mean, I mean, and their and their center parts that they're and doing. And your podcast is now canceled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because here we go, man. I'm tired of seeing this crap about center parts. That no, but you talking? What is this? What is this about? Yeah, what's the what's center this part? About? What center so, parts? Yeah, they're, they're so center parting men's hair in the middle, so everybody looks like Dwight. Like, do we want that? Oh. So what you're telling me is if Dwight, Mo, instead yeah. of Moses parting the Red Sea. Yeah. He's parting hair. Yes. And that's yeah. what Gen Z is all about right now. And also baggy clothing. Because, Ooh. hey, let's go back to the 90s. The most boring fashion time of our history, I feel like. The 90s was huh. terrible for hit, for fashion. Cars all looked exactly the same. They were terrible. Hmm. Okay? If you don't believe me, watch X-Files. That's Everybody had I... the same hairstyle, same stupid cars. I stopped wearing jeans. and I, And I started wearing cargo pants. In the nineties, yeah, yeah, I, it's terrible, man. I, I wish I hadn't. Yeah, I wish I could go back and tell myself. You well, can't I take thought, it back. I thought there was the a hell? denim. There was a denim shortage because remember the Jenko jeans? You could fit like three people in one pant leg. So oh, that's probably why you yeah. went to cargo because there yep. was a jean shortage. Yeah, mm-hmm. there. Yeah, that's true. They was there actually them? a jean shortage? I'm, probably a Eugene shortage. A Eugene shortage. Not, Not a lot of was. Eugenes yeah. in the nineties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they kind of they, they kind of took care of that. I want to go back to the center part. Uh, maybe we could just rattle off a couple. What are some of the greatest center parts of the nineties? Greatest and worst. Actually, let's just do worst. Worst center parts of the nineties. All of them. Dawson's Creek. Everybody in that yes. show. A lot of center parts there in that was, show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that was uh, James Vanderbeek was mm-hmm. center part. Yes. Oh yeah, he was. The, yeah. He was like the ambassador of center parts. Yep. I don't want yo laugh. Why not? Varsity Blues, wasn't oh, it? Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. I never saw I've that. I've never seen Varsity Blues. Oh, my no. God. Really? Yeah. yeah. That is that a, that's a football, right? It was. Yeah. It was like yeah. one of the yeah. first movies like MTV ever made. I never saw Friday Night Lights either. Oh. Friday Night Lights, oh, I've heard, man. is good. Great series. I've heard it's good. I've Great series. It, yeah. You would love it. Um, two center parts that I think, you know, Matt Damon had a center part in Good he Will did. Hunting. He did. He did. He did. Yes, that's right. yes. Leo DiCaprio had a couple center parts. Yes. Mm. What do we think of their center parts? Did he have one in Titanic? He did, didn't he? I believe so. I don't right? think so. <laughs> you know what? A killer center part oh, man. was um, the Titanic had a center part when it got hit by the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> too soon? I feel, I feel it's too soon. Oh boy! Um, who was oh. the kid on Home Improvement? Oh, uh, Macaulay Jonathan Culkin. Taylor Thomas. That's Jonathan Home Alone. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's wow! Oh man, I can see where you got confused. And I think the older dude. brother had one too, dude. Yes. I love Brad, Home Improvement. It's my favorite Brad. sitcom of all time. I think all three kids had center parts. Oh yeah, if I Mark remember had one correctly. At some point. Oh yeah, yeah center yeah, yeah. part. Oh yeah. I think Wilson had one, but he used it to cover his head. Wilson, like he used the hat. I don't know how. Yeah. How does it feel good to have a center part? Um, well, I can. It, it's gonna it, hurt. Uh, yeah. It, right. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> That's wow. That was really. Uh, explain more. Yeah. But, well, yeah. 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 yeah I mean, my, 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 yeah. My, 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 my part. My <laughs> Pardon me, har. <laughs> Pardon me, har. Pardon me, har, matey. <laughs> anyway, Gen Z's great, but they annoy me with your style. Don't like it. They should bring back the. If we're gonna go full on, yeah, yeah, nineties. Yeah, I think we should bring back the. Well, the neons already coming back, right? Mm-hmm. Is I it? think we need to bring back the crisscross. Oh, yeah, it is. Wear yourself backwards. Ooh. Mm. 
and tie your hoodie around your waist. Wear your underwear yes. over your shorts. Oh my! Yes, and then get the that t-shirt. That was a good time. And get the T-shirt that had. It was the seventies. Yeah, yeah. The T-shirt that had Bugs Bunny and Taz dressed in the um, crisscross yes. backwards. You guys remember that yeah. shirt? Oh, that was like. That reminds. That was me. a ninety starter pack, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Looney Tunes was a big nineties. Yeah. Did you guys see mid nineties? Yeah. That movie came out. Uh, no. Uh, Jonah Why Hill. I? Jonah Hill made it. That really? sounds good, though. Interesting. I'm, I'm already in. in. I'm you, out on Jonah You Hill. feel like you're in the 90s you're again, out? for sure. I'm out on Jonah What do you think? Wow. Over A little bit dark. Huh? My you're sister over said Jonah Jonah fanny Hill? packs are coming back. I'm going to see it. They are. <laughs> Why are fanny packs coming back? Fanny oh, packs and big nice. shoes. What? White shoes that are, like, chunky. Yeah, that's dumb. Yes. Big that's white weird. shoes? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's stupid, man. I don't like that. Yeah, we, need to, we need to have a serious discussion with some Gen Zers. Richard, you're going to be on the in front of your house one day with a shotgun... Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. Yeah, when they're wearing their stupid white shoes. Yeah. With your Jenko jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question about shirts. Yeah. Well why do I see so many people wearing NASA shirts? What's up with that? I, I don't get it. Because we went to Mars. No, and uh, no, and NASA barely had anything to do with that, let's be honest. Because no, Elon the, Musk is where it's that's at. That's the rage. That's the I don't why? know. Why? I don't know why. We're I, not even on Mars. Honestly, you sent a stupid little thing with wheels. I feel that's like it. SpaceX is, is probably more popular than, than NASA. Yeah, but they don't Has see SpaceX. SpaceX done more missions than NASA recently? They they usually uh collaborate on mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah. we cut funding on NASA. Yeah I did too. I think we did we but did then, over the past decade. Yeah. Yeah. But then we brought the funding back. We bought it back better than it ever had been before, okay? <laughs> so then he bought it back. Interesting thing, speaking of former president and space stuff, apparently he authorized all this um, alien UFO oh, yeah. stuff to be... Uh, Exposed? Yeah, like yeah. Declassified? I'm excited. And Tom yeah. DeLonge yeah. of Blink-182 is like the the cultural oh, leader of this that. movement, yeah. which is really funny. Yeah. yeah. Aliens, man. Yeah, yeah, it's um. Aliens. They have a song called uh, "Aliens Exist." The Disclosure Project. I'm very excited about because uh, I'm like, I am super into conspiracy theory stuff and oh. UFOs and flying saucers now. And saucers. Uh, if uh, you ever heard my my ideas, you'd probably think I should be put in insane asylum. But oh I have boy. a lot of crazy yeah. ideas. On oh that. boy. Well, we're gonna need an episode on that. We we're should. Gonna, yeah. We're so, How have we I actually, about that? I don't want to do that because I'm I may get uh, <laughs> threats from the government because I'm that <laughs> in tune with it, you, man. They're following you around. Oh yeah, because and they're black um, there are like stuff, man. books. Yes, there are like long books and long documentaries made by people who I've read them and watched them. Yes. Okay, my favorite books that is "Behold the Pale Horse." <laughs> it's a phenomenal book. The author was shot and killed by under the Clinton administration because he killed a bunch of stuff, and it's legit. Great book. Great book. Highly recommend it. It's a Jeffrey Epstein. 0.5. Kind of, well, not really because he didn't do he that kind of stuff. Yeah, he, but, was, he wasn't a pedophile. But. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, he was he was a former uh, uh, naval intelligence officer, and uh, he came forward with a bunch of stuff, and then he was hunted down and killed for tax evasion. They said that he shot at the police. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So this is a little sneak wow. peek of a further episode when we'll do stuff Yee-hoo. on my conspiracy stuff. Okay. It's good stuff. Huh. I love that, that stuff. That sounds interesting. Oh, Yeah. Oh, if you can get yeah. Snowden to come in as your special guest for that. That would be cool. Yeah. It's speaking, easy to do, actually. Yeah. Speaking mm-hmm. of current events that are happening in this country now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, what current events do you have for us today? Oh, so... Also, how are we doing on time, Steve? I think we're getting there. How are you we, doing, Tommy? It's we, good to see you, we, man. We, we have up? to wrap up soon. But you know, it's yeah, been, we're we're emotionally, I'm, I'm getting there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So it's take time to heal. Like, how's it been? How's it been? I mean... Did you do your laundry today? My mom... Laundry? 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 Yeah. Yo, I gotta I do got my laundry the when I get home. Laundry. <laughs> Those Pepper Rose walk-up songs. <laughs> oh, there it is. You got the dirty laundry. <laughs> Clean yourself. <laughs> By the way, can we can we point out? Tommy doesn't like it when I slouch. Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> point out Tommy's hat. Clean yourself. That is that is the classic '90s. I can't even. You can't really see. You got to point oh, towards the camera. Oh, ducks yeah. fly together. That's right. Ducks, that's awesome. Ducks do fly. They're together. coming with a new show. I heard with that. It, and it it's looks already stupid. out. It's like episode five now. Yeah. yeah. Stop. I've stop rehashing it. old stuff and been, make original stuff. I'm tired of it. So it's not if, bad. It's not great. Yeah, it's, it's kind just of there. It's, it's all right. It's, it's all yeah, right. It's, it's all right. So what if I take your flying V and your flying ducks and I raise you a flying turtle? Whoa! Please do. Please elaborate. Please do. I'd love to. 
So this is from the Associated Press a couple days ago. Reliable source. Title, yeah, mm-hmm. very reliable source. <laughs> um, Florida woman survives being hit by flying turtle. Oh, this is the I best opening. Already. The best opening quote ever. Quote: I swear to God, this lady has the worst luck of anything. End quote. <laughs> the woman's daughter told the nine one one operator. <laughs> Daytona- Imagine that being the first thing you say to the nine one one operator. operator. Daytona Beach, Florida. It's not unusual for rocks and other debris to crash through a windshield and injure a driver or passenger. But a turtle? What, what? A 71-year-old woman (laughs) riding with her daughter on the Florida's Interstate 95 suffered a gash forehead Wednesday when a turtle smashed through the windshield (laughs) of her car, striking her, the Daytona Beach News Journal reports. Wow. The daughter pulled over and got help from another motorist, according to a 911 recording. Both were surprised at what they had found. And what they found was it was Donatello flying through the car and like tried to ninja kick because there was a foot soldier on the other end. Wait a minute. And hit this hit this poor 71 year old woman so wow, first of all did the turtle make it because that's what's most important yeah here. donatello needs to stay alive what's yeah. going um, on um let's see <laughs> Ooh, the, 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 this is great writing by the way was it a tmnt this? quote like like reference because i've never seen donatello teenage, i've never seen teenage mutant ninja turtles you don't know about the ninja turtles i know about them i just never watched you it trolling us right now i'm dead serious i've never you watched real bro I'm, I'm i'm straight <laughs> up man you for real You're yeah f- <laughs> I can't. I can't. No. I and this is another it, reason why I don't want to do podcasts with this man. I know, no right? I know. Sorry, I didn't want to watch an animated Ninja show about turtles. Ni- turtles fighting Yo, with martial arts. The turtles were man. my thing in like fourth grade. The turtles okay. were everybody's thing. Everybody's thing in fourth it's grade. It's funny. I remember as a kid thinking when people would talk about it, I would think about this is so dumb. Like I would never watch Unreal. it. I was like, let me go watch Unreal. Batman instead. Mr. Nope. Miyagi. Nope. Well, Karate Kid was cool. Oh, sorry. I thought I was getting him mixed up with the leader of the... Oh, Splinter. Oh, Michelangelo. Splinter, yes. Splinter. He was the Splinter. rat. Splinter he was, was the, the leader. Rat. Yeah. Isn't like Leonardo da Vinci like the leader of the TMNT or whatever? No, he was a famous painter from the Grecian ages of old who just kind of, you know, dociled his way up onto the also top an of the inventor. ladder. And yeah, also yeah. an inventor. He's ahead of his time. But, but wasn't the one of the... Sistine <laughs> Chapel. <laughs> Was that one was, of the turtles? That, named was, Michael, that, that was, was Michelangelo. Michelangelo yeah. Oh, Michelangelo oh. is one of the turtles. He's in that. one of the turtles. Yes. That's right. They're I'd all see. named after Renaissance exactly, artists. Yes. Oh, oh, cool. And, and like um, Raphael. Oh, nice. Nadal. He's the tennis player. Nadal. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael Nadal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he he never fit in with the group. They were like John Quincy Adams. <laughs> he was. He's like, he, everybody was ninja kicking, and he just smacking people. I'm going. To rack. <laughs> I'm going to play tennis, guys. Come on. So I wonder how this turtle. He would literally hit uh, foot clan soldiers and be like, "Justice is served." So wait, this turtle Ooh. went through the windshield. <laughs> so apparently, because I've I've heard of them like smacking into windshields or even getting caught on the windshield. Yeah. Right. So I've never heard that. Through. According to this article, um, which I can't really read, I've been making this story up the whole time. <laughs> but um, <laughs> apparently, they believe that this turtle flew in the air because it was crossing the road, a hit, tire uh, hit, hit it. another. A car hit this turtle, oh, flew turtle, in the air, turtle, and turtle. smacked into this woman. Wow. What? Was the turtle alive? I haven't got that far yet. Okay. Was the turtle doing this intentionally? That's an even better yes. question. Was this an intentional yeah. turtling? What's the intentional turtle intentional in your life? <laughs> What's the turtle that's cracking your skull? Yeah. To our listeners out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> the turtle, on the other it's hand. A metaphor. <laughs> Had the best luck of anything. It just had a few scratches on its shell and was released back into the. Are you kidding woods. me? Wow! So this turtle lived. I'm survived. so thankful for that because like if the if the person died, I'd be like whatever. But yeah, because I don't care about people yeah. from Florida, but I care about a turtle. The animals for sure, man. Yeah. Yeah, that turtle is now going to get into extreme sports. I think. For sh- yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> After ricocheting off of one car, yeah, turtles landing. Flying in days are over. <laughs> yeah, he's been grounded. All right, fly boy, we're gonna take your wings away yeah, now. Yeah. So if oh, cats man. have nine lives, is that how many does turtles have? He's texting. What's I'm not texting. Text? I'm looking something up. He's actually, texting. Oh. Don't tell me how to live my life. The he's Google texting. He's do, he's doing the Google, or maybe the Facebook. The Google. No, machine. I actually for <laughs> the false just is strong. You like how I called it the Google? Like I can our, see like a picture of Pat Burrell in 15 minutes, and I got really upset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, True or false? True or false? There is a picture of Pat Burrell next to your bed. And you kiss it goodnight every night. It, it was your background for quite a while. True or false? On false, your phone. But I really want that. Oh, wait. Do I have... 
Hold on. So the my Instagram has a picture of me. Your yeah, my Instagram, Instagram profile picture is me next to Pat Burrell in the dugout, like with my face over Chase Utley's head, <laughs> and then Daniel you Craig is in the background. Yourself into yeah. no so Andrew did that for my for my wedding. Oh, I mean okay. funeral. I mean not my funeral. <laughs> My your birthday. funeral, yeah. <laughs> my funeral, you did that. <laughs> but when Jules hears this, yeah, for your funeral. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of troll for this episode, actually, because oh I was call- I was imitating her like, <laughs> well, she doesn't sound like that. No. But- no, she doesn't. No, I've heard yeah. her voice How much before, you guys want to bet like that, that Rich is going to knock on one of our doors and I'd be like, can I sleep on your couch? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a guest room. Super helpful. So <laughs> I'm sure you can snuggle with Casey. He'll be, you know, they're... They're staying here. They're oh, they're staying here. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa! <laughs> that was really. Yeah, I didn't know I could do that. For anybody, <laughs> for anybody that needed cool. it, I used to be test. able to do that. Impressive. I Most can't do that. Wow! Wow. Don't do that. Do that. Stop doing I that. I used to be able to do that. Stop doing it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm just so fascinated it's, it's that like that works. I used out. to be able to do it's that like when I was like coming 12. out of a balloon. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You're welcome. I think we gotta. Yeah. So guys, um, first off, yeah, we need to announce something we're gonna do. Okay. So we want our we're gonna do a a a listener initiative here. Okay. We need your help, and uh, basically we want you to tweet us at htg4a topics that you would like us to discuss. If your topics get picked, what should we do for them, Steve? They'll get a sticker. No. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> you kind of put me on the spot there. Yeah, Rich. I just I just came up with that right now. Uh, well, no. So we're gonna in yeah next week or next week next month we're gonna do a, a swag run for listeners. We have what? t-shirts. Swag, we have. Swag. You're getting a t-shirt. <gasps> you're getting a t-shirt. You're Everybody a t-shirt. gets t-shirts. Everybody gets t-shirts. Everybody gets t-shirts. Uh, if you pay for it. Not yes. you, but <laughs> suck it. Um, yeah, but no, our guests are getting T-shirts, mugs, what? mugs, and stickers. We're mugs. we're gonna do all of those for being able. If you pay us money in in cash or Bitcoin Dull or Dogecoin, hairs. me. Uh, yeah, you can. You, if you pay rich in Dogecoin, yes, uh, d- yeah, Doge. Mm. Uh, uh, then yeah, we're gonna do that in, next month. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, we'll figure out something with yes. stick, maybe stickers or something better. Yes. But Not this magnets, week, I don't know. but this week, your <clears throat> homework is to tweet us hilarious topics that you want us to discuss, and they you never know they, they, they may be featured on our show. Yeah, because we're running out of material, obviously. Well, yeah, we're not. Obviously, <laughs> you can tell. Obviously, that's why I'm here. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. It's why the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. I feel like we're actually great at coming up with topics, and we don't need them. But oh, we're oh, gonna. Oh, but we're doing wow. this for them to wow. get to engage with us. We, we don't need our fans. Beta podcast of sorts. <laughs> To the universe, I will issue a challenge. You will get double points if you badmouth Pat Burrell in every way, any way, shape, or form. Absolutely. Please don't do, do that. that. If you are fans of mine individually, <laughs> don't do that. Okay? The more you badmouth them, the higher you'll be on the yes. list of topics. <laughs> yes. Um, also, so also, if you have uh, you know replies or responses, or I know we, we've had people just like texting or, or commenting about stuff we talked about on the podcast. If you have that, go ahead and comment. We we may end up taking your comments and yeah. talking about them on the next That'd be episode. Awesome. So we love that. So that would be fun. At HTG4A, comment on Facebook, Instagram. We look forward to hearing from you. And Joe, uh, thank you very little for being Joe, on this podcast. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, it's Joe. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to balance Joe. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Joe, that's your name, right? Joe, Joe. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome that I'm your friend. Um, wow. I, I already. No, well, actually, I want to thank these guys for taking you away from me because our I would you're wasted very my welcome. life with this podcast. You're very we're welcome. We, we really try and keep them in check as much as possible. You, yeah, most times we. But you guys need to do a better job. Yeah. Nothing. I just came in here and like <laughs> smacked them around. We have a little verbally. crate form in the corner that we keep them in between. You can't see Feed it. Feed them nothing but camera. fish heads. <laughs> Beta fish heads. <laughs> Throw me raisins. Get the anchovies. Quiet out. dog. Dance monkey dance. <laughs> <laughs> So can we do this shameless plug? Because eventually, yes, you know, by the year, absolutely. by the year 2030, when we finally decide we're going to start doing this absolutely. podcast. Joe, go ahead, man. No one likes this podcast. Me, the star, Rich, the dancing monkey, the Robin to my Batman. Uh, eventually, yeah. we are going to start doing some podcasts with some Philly sports stuff, other sports stuff as well. Uh-huh. I got some great ideas in the old noggin. You know, what we should do we should start playing like retro sports games. 
Oh, I like that. There you go. Like I was playing RBI That's a great four idea. the other day. RBI four. Also, uh, like Ken Griffey Jr. baseball, or no, no, Sammy Sosa baseball, whatever it was. No, it was Ken Griffey like, Jr. Ken Griffey. Yeah, on, like he was the only yeah. real on, like, character Sega, in it. Yeah, on, like, yeah, Sega Genesis, right? Yep. Yes, mm-hmm. that was a great. That was game. No, I think it was Super Nintendo, but I remember it was Super, it it was, was Super, it was Nintendo. Super yeah. Nintendo. You're right. But, but with Genesis yeah. too, I remember when I was a kid, it was uh, Joe Montana Sports Talk Football. Oh yeah, and oh, Joe Montana was the only guy who was there, but it was like the worst. Announcing is like Montana back to pass throws <laughs> intercepted at the 45. He's tackled at the 45. It'll be first and 10 Eagles. That's awesome. Oh, oh, those fun. old games. I like that. Love it. That's amazing. So, yeah. So, so right, the name of the podcast stuff. was again, no one likes us. We don't care. No one likes us. So we a don't nice care. little yep, homage to uh, Jason Kelsey. Yep. And uh, yes. if you guys can't get enough of me here, you'll be able to get more of me there. Well, that should be the really tagline for our podcast. Let's if you so. can't get enough of me there, you'll get enough it's of me really here. More to Sometimes me. it's like we're not even here, yeah, Steve. It's, yeah, it, but we, that's, we really are you know, invisible yeah. to, to Rich's poor. greatness. And yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. It's true. Thank you. I'm really glad. You guys can do a lot of realizations. <laughs> you, I, for me. And I would, let me cordially invite you guys yeah. to uh, to do a couple episodes for us. I would yeah. love that. I think that'd be a good time. You know, we that'd can, be really fun. We can do yeah. some cross. That'd be fun. We can do some cross podcast. It's not going to work with our schedule. Pretty cool. It's not yeah. going to work. I'm, I'm booked yeah. no matter when you're yeah, doing yeah. it. I, just, <laughs> I have I have prior obligations. I have mighty ducks that day. I think I'm going to the mall that night. I want to be sick. <laughs> in my in my baggy I believe, jeans. I believe I have a colonoscopy that day. <laughs> <laughs> and I would rather have oh. a colonoscopy than do your show. <laughs> Thanks. I, I can't blame him. I know. <laughs> I, right? I can't blame him. I know. All right. So it's well, been a blast. Thank yeah. you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you to our freaking listeners, man. Thank you. Thanks so much for listening to the How's This Good For Anybody podcast. We certainly hope it brought you laughter, joy, and sadness. And thank you to our guest, Joe Alamia. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to us on all of our social media platforms. If you're not sure if we're on it, just search us. That's HTG4A or at How's This Good For Anybody podcast. See you next week.